This feels like one of those paint nights. Have you ever been to those paint nights? Mine always ends up looking just like a blob. <laughs> Hi guys, I'm Issa Briones. I play Dodge and Soji on Star Trek Picard, and I am here with a good friend of mine at the Star Trek headquarters, and we are going to uh, paint a familiar picture. Hey Jude. What? What you painting? You know. I do know. <laughs> Here, okay, he already has a head start. Are you starting with the face, or you're starting with? I'm starting with the cloak. Okay, good idea. Oh, I'm so nervous. So if we want to capture this woman, whoever she is. Um, you know she is. <laughs> you're the one playing her. That is true. I sometimes forget. Um, I don't think so. I mostly do um, finger painting with my, mm. like I do with hands. I paint. 24 seven, all day, every day. No, I don't. So I'm just taking Jude's lead. Oh no, I already messed it up. Oh gosh. Making it up as I go. So what grade are you in, Jude? First. Good year, good year. I'm seven years old. When I was seven, I think I was on the road. My parents are actors, so they were on tour with Miss Saigon. We were like traveling around Europe. I think seven was when I first moved to LA. And that's when I first started going to school with other kids because I was never with other kids. I can see it all in my like painting right now. This is gonna be like an abstract <laughs> rendition of Dodge or Soji, whoever this is. I don't know. <laughs> you know who it is. <laughs> Jude keeps me honest. Something up is with that girl. Something up is with that girl. I almost changed my Instagram bio to that. Something up is with that girl. Well, I do yeah. want to know how does she fight with a bag over her head where she doesn't know when, where she's kicking. That's a good question. When she's in that scene, her instincts all kind of kick in right at the same time as those guys start to kind of you know, try to take her. She is her uh, fight or flight. Just killed her foot. <laughs> exactly. So the emotions are high. She needs to avenge her love and protect herself. So um, these kind of new uh, abilities she didn't know that she had kind of kick in. She's got such great senses outside of sight. I'm that done she with can the just cloak. Like, You're done with the cloak? Yeah. I'm not even close to where you are. Ugh. This guy knows what he's doing. We're painting right now. I'm sorry, I'm sorry. You're just very interesting. I want to get to know you. Do we have any peach? I don't know how to mix colors up the get peach. Maybe you would want to mix the white with one of these other colors. Maybe a little bit of the brown, maybe a little bit of the yellow. Yeah. I know a thing or two. I don't know what I'm doing. <laughs> I am a, a singer. Music really helps me get into character. And I usually make these playlists, especially since I have to play two characters. I have a Dodge playlist and a Soji playlist. Helps me kind of differentiate between the two characters. I'm actually really getting a peach right now. Yeah? This is a great color. He's like, I don't really care what you guys are talking about. I'm making a painting. This is what we came to do. I did a cover of uh, <laughs> Dancing on My Own. Um, you can find it on YouTube. Yeah, I know it's stupid. Um, <laughs> do you like Disney movies? Yeah, we haven't watched Frozen 2 yet. But... I haven't either. We should go together. Uh, that's my um, uh, parents' decision. <laughs> yeah, I'll, I'll, I'll check with your, with your managers, your parents, and see if What's a manager? You know, we don't need to get into that. I wish I had watched Star Trek as a kid. Well, my favorite Star Trek movie is the new Captain Picard. What kind of things would you want to explore? I would be a captain. Yeah, of course I you would. like being um, the boss and <laughs> captains are cool. Yeah. Do you go to conventions? Yeah. Yeah? A lot. The and characters? that's where I get most of my toys from. Oh, I'm sure they've got some great toys there. I even got a transporter thing from there. What? Yeah. A transporter? I want a transporter. That would make life so much easier. Yeah, well, it's a toy. It's not a real. The Romulans seem to be really interested in what the Borg have, like their technology and stuff. You would think um, they have, um, the Romulans have more um, advanced technology than the Borg. And they said the artifact, the thing they're on is like the artifact and it's like the destroyer. Well, it used to be 
part of the Borg collective. It's broken, as you can see, there's like pieces missing out of the cube, right? Yeah. And so since it got broken, the rest of the Borg collective just cut its ties with it and they don't recognize it as part of the Borg anymore. So it's basically just a broken spaceship floating in space. But the Romulans decided to take it so that they can see what kind of technology is on it. Well, that is a good idea. They are dead anyways. They're... But they're not fully dead. The people who are the Borg are oh, not yeah. actually dead. Yeah. So the Romulans really just want the technology. But people like Soji, who are on the cube, want to make sure that the people get better. She wants to help the, the, the people who used to be Borgs. The ex Borg. Well, that's not really what, what the Romulans want to do. No, the Romulans really don't care what happens to the XBs, but it's the only way that the Federation was going to allow them to do it. So that's why Soji's there to help. Mm, okay. Yeah. I do I seem like the destroyer? No, she seems nice. <laughs> I think that looks great. The cloak is a hard part. Yeah. And the mouth. Yeah, I've got uh, a complicated mouth. This is kind of actually easier with a pencil. Painting is hard. <laughs> it totally is. It's hard. After this, we should start taking lessons. You're right, we definitely need um, a teacher. I know, we should have gotten some kind of tutorial from the guy who painted it, or the gal. What does even gal mean? <laughs> <laughs> You know, in middle school, my nickname was Isa Pizza. What the? Ever since that moment, I've been lactose intolerant. <laughs> Do you have any good places you like to go to? Pizza shop. Pizza shop. Yeah. Aptly named. <laughs> I don't know the names. I can't really read. <laughs> How would I remember that when I'm just seven? I can't remember that much stuff. And you know that. I know. I'm sorry. OK. And it looks like. Oh my god. I'm almost done. Oh. <laughs> Wait, he's already done. Ugh. Now I'm stressed. Oh, I don't even know what I'm doing anymore. Well, I'm gonna go play a pinball. <laughs> I will never forgive you. <laughs> well, I'm trying to just hurry up because I just hear crunching next to me. <laughs> Can we just print out my headshot and tape it on there? <laughs> I don't feel like painting me. <laughs> that would not look good. <laughs> Yikes, man. T say one nice thing to me, please. <laughs> I need it. My confidence is at an all-time low. <laughs> I like the cloak. Thanks. Oh, man, everything was going so well, and then I did my face. Take a picture of your face and then, like, have look at your own face. Yeah, true. He's like, get to know yourself first. Before you can paint yourself, know yourself. I don't know who I am. I got the nose. Yeah, that's a good nose, yeah. <laughs> well, we did it! Okay, are we ready to show? Yeah. Yeah? Okay, three, two, one. Oh. Yeah! <laughs> good job! We did it! <laughs> that looks amazing! It looks so great! I had so much fun painting. Me too. High five? Yeah. Bye. <laughs> I will never forgive you. <laughs>